Focus on yourself, not on others. But how is this possible with the philosophy of Stoicism? In this video series, we invite you on a journey based on the time-tested methods of Stoic thinkers to take full control of your life and unlock your true potential. Guided by these ancient sages, from Marcus Aurelius to Seneca, from Epictetus to Musonius Rufus, we will discover ways to discover yourself and focus on your inner strength, not external factors. Watch this video to the end and see how Stoicism can transform your life. Are you ready to embark on your own inner journey? Then, let's make this deep and meaningful discovery together. Lesson 1. Exercise Voluntary Discomfort A powerful strategy is to periodically embrace discomfort. As Seneca advised, set aside a certain number of days during which you shall be content with the scantiest and cheapest fare with coarse and rough dress. This practice fortifies the mind against future hardships and teaches gratitude for the present. But let's delve deeper. How can this ancient wisdom be integrated into our modern lives to foster resilience and a profound appreciation of our current circumstances? Voluntary discomfort is not merely about physical hardship, it's a mental and spiritual exercise that challenges our habitual comforts and conveniences. In today's world, this might mean disconnecting from technology periodically, choosing to walk instead of drive, or even opting for cold showers. Each of these actions, though seemingly small, serves as a practice in self-discipline, reminding us that comfort is not always necessary for contentment. Furthermore, embracing voluntary discomfort can be extended to our interactions and relationships. This could involve engaging in difficult conversations that we often avoid, being open to feedback and criticism, or even volunteering in challenging environments. Through these experiences, we not only develop a sturdier sense of self, but also cultivate empathy and understanding towards others. The Stoics believed that life's true richness comes not from external possessions, but from inner strength and wisdom. By consciously choosing less comfortable options, we train ourselves to find joy and satisfaction beyond materialistic pleasures. We start to appreciate the simple, often overlooked aspects of life. Moreover, voluntary discomfort can also manifest in the way we approach our goals and tasks. It's about pushing ourselves beyond our perceived limits, setting higher standards and not shying away from difficult tasks. This might mean tackling a project that scares you, learning a new skill that challenges you, or even setting ambitious personal goals. In this practice, there is a profound lesson in humility and resilience. We learn that we are capable of more than we often believe and that true growth often lies just outside our comfort zone. So, the question arises, how will you incorporate the practice of voluntary discomfort into your life? What small yet impactful changes can you make to build resilience, gratitude, and a deeper appreciation for life's simple joys? Remember, the path to Stoic wisdom is not one of ease, but of mindful challenge and personal growth. Embrace discomfort, not as an obstacle, but as a doorway to a richer, more fulfilling life. This Stoic practice, rooted in ancient wisdom, is remarkably relevant in our modern world. It offers a path to greater self-awareness, resilience, and ultimately, a deeper connection with the essence of what it means to live a meaningful life. Lesson two, simplify your desires. Epictetus warned, if you wish to be a writer, write. This strategy is to simplify your life's desires to what truly aligns with your personal growth in simplifying, you amplify your focus and your efforts. What desires will you pursue that lead to the betterment of yourself? Now let's expand upon this concept. How can we apply this stoic principle to various aspects of our lives? And what practical steps can we take to truly simplify our desires in a way that fosters personal development and fulfillment? 
The stoic path of simplifying desires is not about denying ourselves pleasure or ambition. Instead, it's about honing in on what truly matters. It's about distinguishing between fleeting pleasures and long-lasting fulfillment. In our modern, fast-paced world, we are bombarded with endless desires, material possessions, social status, career achievements, and more. But how many of these desires actually contribute to our genuine well-being and personal growth? Let's consider the practical ways we can apply this principle. Start by evaluating your current desires. Ask yourself, which of these truly contribute to my personal and spiritual growth? This could mean prioritizing health and well-being over material acquisitions, valuing relationships and experiences over status symbols, or focusing on personal achievements rather than societal benchmarks. Next, we should look at the practice of mindfulness. Mindfulness allows us to live in the present moment and appreciate what we have rather than constantly seeking more. It teaches us to be content with less and to find joy in simplicity. By practicing mindfulness, we can train our minds to focus on desires that are aligned with our true selves. Another step is decluttering not just our physical spaces, but also our mental and emotional landscapes. This means letting go of past grievances, worries about the future, and unnecessary stresses. It involves cutting out the noise and distractions that pull us away from our core desires and values. Moreover, we can embrace the stoic practice of reflection. Regular self-reflection helps us to continually reassess our desires and ensure they are in alignment with our personal values and goals. This could involve daily journaling, meditation, or simply taking time each day to contemplate our life's direction. Additionally, Stoicism teaches us to embrace challenges and obstacles as opportunities for growth. In simplifying our desires, we may encounter resistance both from within ourselves and from external sources. These challenges are opportunities to practice resilience, adaptability, and to strengthen our commitment to our simplified path. Furthermore, it's important to cultivate gratitude. Gratitude shifts our focus from what we lack to what we have. By appreciating our current blessings, we reduce the incessant desire for more and find contentment in the present. We should also consider how simplifying our desires impacts our relationships with others. By focusing less on materialistic or superficial desires, we can build deeper, more meaningful connections with those around us. This shift can lead to a more fulfilling and enriching social life. Moreover, simplifying desires can lead to a more sustainable lifestyle. By reducing our need for constant consumption and excess, we not only benefit ourselves, but also contribute positively to the environment and society as a whole. In essence, simplifying our desires is an ongoing journey, not a one-time action. It requires continuous effort, self-awareness, and dedication. By embracing this stoic principle, we open ourselves to a life of greater purpose, fulfillment, and inner peace. So as we move forward, let's ask ourselves, how can we continually refine our desires to ensure they are in harmony with our true selves and our path of personal growth? How can we live a life that is simpler yet richer in meaning and satisfaction? Embracing this stoic wisdom can lead us to a more focused, balanced, and contented existence. Lesson 3. Cultivate Inner Resilience Life is very short and anxious for those who forget the past, neglect the present and fear the future, remarked Seneca. Build resilience by focusing on the present moment, understanding that past and future are outside your control. How will you anchor yourself in the now? Expanding on this idea, let's explore how to deepen our inner resilience a critical skill in navigating life's challenges with stoic grace. Resilience is not just about bouncing back from adversity, it's about growing and evolving through it. It involves a conscious choice to focus on the present and a commitment to personal development. First, 
it's crucial to practice mindfulness. This involves being fully present in each moment, observing our thoughts and feelings without judgment. Mindfulness helps in recognizing that the past cannot be changed and the future is yet to come, allowing us to concentrate our energies on the here and now. Next, developing a gratitude practice can significantly bolster our resilience. By acknowledging and appreciating what we have in the present moment, we shift our focus away from what we lack or fear. This shift in perspective can dramatically reduce anxiety and increase our sense of well-being. Another vital aspect of building resilience is self-compassion. Often, we are our own harshest critics, learning to treat ourselves with the same kindness and understanding that we would offer to a good friend can profoundly impact our ability to cope with stress and setbacks. Moreover, physical health is intricately linked with psychological resilience. Regular exercise, a balanced diet, and adequate sleep are foundational to maintaining the energy and clarity needed to handle life's demands effectively. Cultivating strong social connections is also essential in developing resilience. Having a supportive network of friends and family provides a sense of belonging and a reliable source of comfort and advice during tough times. Additionally, setting realistic and achievable goals is a powerful way to build resilience. Goals give us direction and a sense of purpose, making it easier to navigate through tough times. When we achieve these goals, it reinforces our belief in our abilities and strengthens our resilience. We should also embrace challenges as opportunities for growth, viewing difficulties as learning experiences rather than insurmountable obstacles encourages a growth mindset, which is key to developing resilience. Practicing problem-solving skills is another way to enhance resilience. When faced with a challenge, rather than feeling overwhelmed, break the problem into manageable parts and tackle them one at a time. This approach builds confidence and the ability to handle complex issues. Moreover, maintaining a balance between work and leisure is important. Allowing time for relaxation and hobbies helps recharge our batteries and provides a much-needed break from the stresses of daily life. Learning new skills or hobbies can also foster resilience. It gives us a sense of achievement and progress, enhancing our self-esteem and coping abilities. Finally, regularly reflecting on our experiences and the lessons learned helps in solidifying resilience. It provides perspective on our journey and the progress we've made, encouraging us to keep moving forward despite the challenges. In conclusion, cultivating inner resilience is a multifaceted process that involves mental, emotional, and physical practices. By integrating these approaches into our daily lives, we strengthen our ability to face life's ups and downs with stoic calm and confidence. So, how will you begin to cultivate your inner resilience today? And in doing so, how will you transform your approach to life's inevitable challenges? Lesson 4. Transform Obstacles into Opportunities Marcus Aurelius championed the notion, the impediment to action advances action. What stands in the way becomes the way. When faced with obstacles, pivot your perspective. See each as a chance to practice virtues like patience, tenacity and creativity. Ask, how can this challenge refine my abilities? Expanding on this, let's explore how we can apply this stoic principle to our lives more broadly and effectively. Marcus Aurelius's wisdom here is not just about overcoming obstacles, but transforming our relationship with them. Firstly, it's essential to understand that obstacles are a natural and inevitable part of life. Rather than viewing them as insurmountable barriers, we can see them as integral to our journey of growth and self-improvement. Each challenge we face is an opportunity to strengthen our character and develop skills that we might not otherwise have the chance to cultivate. One practical approach to transforming obstacles into opportunities is to actively reframe our challenges. This involves looking at a situation from different perspectives. 
For example, a career setback can be seen as a chance to explore new paths or develop resilience. A personal conflict might be an opportunity to improve communication skills and deepen understanding. Another key aspect is to embrace a mindset of continuous learning. Every obstacle presents a lesson. By asking ourselves, what can I learn from this experience? We open ourselves to new insights and wisdom. This learning mindset turns each challenge into a classroom of life. Moreover, we can cultivate the habit of proactive problem solving. Instead of waiting for solutions to present themselves, actively seek out creative ways to overcome your challenges. This could mean brainstorming new ideas, seeking advice from mentors, or even breaking down the problem into smaller, more manageable parts. It's also vital to develop resilience. Resilience is like a muscle that gets stronger with exercise. Each time we face and overcome an obstacle, we build our resilience, making us better equipped to handle future challenges. Additionally, practicing gratitude can dramatically shift our perception of obstacles. By being grateful for the lessons and growth that challenges bring, we maintain a positive outlook and prevent ourselves from being overwhelmed by negativity. Fostering a community of support is another powerful way to turn obstacles into opportunities. Sharing our challenges with others can provide new insights, encouragement and practical solutions. Moreover, helping others with their obstacles can provide a fresh perspective on our own. Also, it's important to recognize the role of patience and perseverance. Transforming obstacles into opportunities often requires time and persistent effort. It's about the long game, focusing on gradual progress and long-term gains rather than quick fixes. Integrating these practices into our lives requires discipline and commitment. It's not always easy to see the opportunity in every obstacle especially when faced with immediate stress or difficulty. However, by consistently applying this stoic principle, we can slowly transform our approach to life's challenges. In conclusion, how will you use the stoic principle of transforming obstacles into opportunities to enhance your personal and professional growth? Remember, the key is not just to overcome the obstacles, but to use them as stepping stones on your path to success and fulfillment. With patience, resilience, and a positive mindset, what once seemed like a barrier can become a catalyst for incredible growth and development. Lesson 5. Engage in community and service. Finally, while Stoicism emphasizes personal virtue, it also recognizes the value of community. Seneca noted, Wherever there is a human being, there is an opportunity for kindness. Focusing on yourself includes improving how you interact with and serve others. How will you contribute positively to the lives around you? This lesson prompts us to consider our role within the broader context of society and how our actions can contribute to the greater good. Stoicism isn't just about self-improvement, it's about using our strengths and virtues to make a positive impact on others and the world around us. First and foremost, engaging in community and service begins with cultivating empathy and understanding. Try to understand the needs and challenges of those around you. This can be as simple as listening attentively to a friend or as involved as volunteering for a cause that addresses community issues. Another aspect is to actively look for ways to contribute. This could mean using your skills and talents in a way that benefits others. For example, if you are a skilled writer, consider volunteering to write for a non-profit organization. If you are good with numbers, offer to help a local charity with their finances. Also, consider the importance of small acts of kindness. Sometimes, the simplest gestures can have the most significant impact. Holding the door for someone, offering a sincere compliment, or just giving your time to listen can make a huge difference in someone's day. Building a sense of community also involves collaboration and teamwork. 
Look for opportunities to work with others towards a common goal. This could be in your workplace, in a community project, or in any group activity. Another way to engage with your community is through mentorship or coaching. Sharing your knowledge and experience with others not only benefits them, but also enriches your own life. It's a powerful way to give back and foster connections. Moreover, consider advocating for positive change in your community. This might involve raising awareness about important issues, participating in community planning, or supporting local initiatives that aim to improve the community. It's also important to be open to learning from others. Engaging in community and service is a two-way street. You will likely find that you learn just as much from those you help as they do from you. In addition, practicing gratitude plays a key role. Be thankful for the opportunity to serve and for the lessons and experiences it brings. Gratitude for the ability to contribute can be a powerful motivator. Remember, engaging in community and service is not about seeking recognition or reward. It's about genuine care and contribution to the well-being of others. It's a fundamental expression of stoic principles, embodying the virtues of generosity, kindness, and civic responsibility. In conclusion, think about how you can integrate community engagement and service into your life. How can you use your unique abilities to make a difference? How can you help create a more compassionate and supportive community? Through these actions, we not only enrich our own lives, but also bring stoic virtues to life, contributing to a more harmonious and caring world. Lesson 6. Embrace the dichotomy of control. Marcus Aurelius once mused, you have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this, and you will find strength. The first strategy is the bedrock of Stoic philosophy. Distinguishing between what we can control and what we cannot. As you confront life's challenges, ask yourself, is this within my control? If not, let it be and focus your energy on your own thoughts and actions. Expanding on this core concept, let's delve into how embracing the dichotomy of control can profoundly impact our lives and guide us towards greater peace and fulfillment. This Stoic principle teaches us to invest our time, energy, and emotions wisely, focusing on areas where we can make a real difference. First, it's important to recognize the things that are within our control. These typically include our responses, choices, values, and efforts. By focusing on these aspects, we can actively shape our experiences and reactions to life's events. This focus empowers us to take charge of our actions and attitudes, rather than being passive victims of circumstance. On the other hand, many aspects of life are beyond our control, such as the actions of others, weather conditions, or global events. By acknowledging and accepting this, we can avoid unnecessary stress and frustration. It allows us to let go of trying to control the uncontrollable, which is a major source of anxiety for many. One practical application of this principle is in managing our reactions to challenging situations. Instead of reacting impulsively or emotionally, we can choose to respond with thoughtfulness and intention. This approach leads to more constructive outcomes and less regret. Moreover, the dichotomy of control can be applied to our personal goals and ambitions. By setting goals that are within our control, such as personal improvement or skill development, we can work steadily towards achieving them without being derailed by external factors. Another key area where this principle applies is in our relationships with others. While we can't control the actions or feelings of others, we can control how we interact with them and how we let their actions affect us. This realization can lead to healthier and more harmonious relationships. Additionally, embracing the dichotomy of control involves recognizing the importance of adaptability. Life is unpredictable, and being able to adapt to changing circumstances is crucial. This flexibility is a strength, 
enabling us to navigate life's ups and downs more effectively. Furthermore, this principle teaches us the value of acceptance. Acceptance doesn't mean resignation or passivity. It means recognizing reality for what it is and finding ways to move forward productively. It's about making peace with the present moment, whatever it may bring. In terms of personal growth, understanding what we can and cannot control is liberating. It frees us from the burden of trying to fix everything and allows us to focus on growing in areas that truly matter to us. In conclusion, embracing the dichotomy of control is a powerful stoic tool that helps us live more fulfilling lives. It guides us to focus our energy and efforts on what we can influence, leading to greater effectiveness, peace of mind, and personal growth. How can you apply this principle in your daily life to become more resilient and focused? Remember, it's not the events themselves that disturb us, but our interpretation of these events. By mastering the art of control, we can approach life's challenges with calmness and clarity. As we conclude this journey into the heart of Stoic philosophy, remember that focusing on yourself is not a journey of solitude, but one of profound self-discovery and empowerment. The wisdom of Marcus Aurelius, Seneca, Epictetus, and Musonius Rufus is not just ancient philosophy, it's a timeless guide to living a life of purpose, resilience, and inner peace. Take these teachings and apply them in your daily life. Embrace the challenges, simplify your desires, cultivate inner resilience, transform obstacles into opportunities, engage in your community, and reflect deeply. Remember the path to true wisdom and self-improvement is a continuous journey, Thank you for joining us on this enlightening exploration. Don't forget to subscribe for more insights into stoicism and personal growth. Stay focused on your journey and keep exploring the depths of your own potential.